Hey, YouTube, Naked Chimichanga. And Apex 501. Oh. You're watching GTA Dirty Jokes and Jobs, where we do the Dirty Jokes subreddit while we do jobs and goof around and talk and hang out. Have a couple drinks maybe sometimes? Yeah, have a drink. Cilantro. <laughs> Cilantro, YouTube. Check this guy's channel out. He does a lot of breakdowns of wrestling belts. I do. Wrestling figures. All wrestling right. everything, really. Yeah, Just wrestling. Check him out. He, he's very thorough with his breakdowns. And, All right. Um, he's got a bajillion belts, so enjoy the video. Nice. All right. Let's put my cash operation back on the hoopty. On the hoopty hoop. I'll take off my thing so you can place it. But, yeah, he basically agreed with his wife that he would get her to where they were going to be living. And um, he would fly back to where the car was and drive it back home without her. She was okay with that. He flew down there, got his car, started driving. And I guess after a couple of days of driving, his wife called him and basically said that... Um, the pregnancy went ectopic and they were going to have to do a procedure on her to, you know, get it out of there. Sure. And she basically asked him to uh, leave his car <coughs> where he was, take so a flight and I come home so that he could be with her. Now, and she bas he basically told her no. Oh, boy. And that... Um, he wasn't going to do that because it would mean that he would have to leave his he would have to leave his car um, where it was unprotected to come home for a procedure that she didn't even need him to be there for uh, okay so he was just like no I'll, I'll just do what the doctor tells you go get the procedure done um, and and I'll drive home I'll drive home and I'll get home as soon as I can. And, you know, she's basically is like, you know, okay, whatever. So he, uh, he's just like, so about three weeks later, I get it back home and, um, she, she's being all cold, cold towards me because I wasn't there for her when she needed me to be. And, um, He's just like, I get that she's upset that I wasn't, you know, home when she needed me to be. But at the same time, it wasn't a procedure she needed me to be there for. And I didn't want to leave my right. car just, you know, in the middle of nowhere for no reason. So, you know, am I the asshole for doing what I did? <laughs> and, and everybody was just kind of like, why the fuck did it take you three weeks to get home? I was going to say. Well, and, and everybody should like, Where? you understand that ectopic pregnancy means that your wife could die, right? Right. Like, it, there's there's a small chance, there's a about as much chance that she won't die, but there's a chance she'll die. Yeah. So, you like, are, are you just, do you hate your wife? Or are you pissed that she, you know, got pregnant? What's going on? Because apparently, this dude revealed in a... a later in the comments section that he basically had never wanted to have a baby and that his wife did and that he told her from the beginning that he didn't want a child and um, that was basically it was that they were just weren't going to have a kid because he didn't want one to which everybody's just like well if she knew that you didn't want a kid and you knew she did we why would you marry her right guys my car's coming. Like, you know, logic would dictate you wouldn't want to marry someone who would want a kid because eventually that's <clears> going <throat> to become a problem. Right. So he basically played it off like he didn't care that his wife... You put it over here, fucking idiots. Fucking assholes. I, I wouldn't know. Seriously. I don't, I don't know where they parked your car. I can't see it. Um, Get in the shopper. I was about to say, let's just hop the chap. Hop the chap. It indeed, Chaba. But uh, yeah, he basically played it off like he he really didn't care about his wife being in that much trouble because you know it was more important for him to have his car, and you know people were talking about you know you shouldn't. Uh, My car is by the chopper. Screw this. 
They didn't deliver my car for some reason. Oh no, I didn't see it. I was about to say I think I see it, but so it's all the, yeah. It's it's far off. <laughs> I was about to say so we're we're taking the chopper or we're just flying to your car. We are taking the chopper. That works. But yeah, he, he was just like you know somebody was like if you love your <coughs> car so much why don't you just fucking marry it you know divorce give your wife the divorce she deserves and, and go fucking marry your. Uh, your car if you love it so much and he goes well maybe I will she never like you know she never supported my hobbies anyway and, ev and everybody's just like you can't be serious that uh, you can't be serious enough to believe that she's the, she's in the wrong for not you know right in the freeway because reasons you're, she's not in the wrong for not supporting your fucking classic car habit but yeah, just the more I read from this fucking dude, the more it just pissed me off the shit he was saying, because it's just like... Yep. You know, what kind of fucking man puts a car over his fucking wife, dude? Yep. Because yeah, he, he just... The way he was talking, it sounded very much like he would have been okay if his wife had died if he didn't have to have a child. Right. To which everybody's just like, I get you don't want to have a, a, a baby, but... You got your wife pregnant. Not wanting to have a baby is no longer Come a, on. an option you can maintain. Get off the fucking bike. It's uglier and shit anyway. I know. I have to move it to get the van out. No, I'm talking to myself. I hopped on one of their bikes. Oh. And then I shot it over. I picked it up, kickstarted it, and then hopped off the bike and then turned around and shot it back down off the... Nah. Shot it back down. I don't want your fucking bike. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, my van was stuck. I didn't need to move the bikes. But yeah, uh, with uh, the Tony subscribing to my channel, I now am at 167 subscribers. Nice. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, the next game I wa I'm intending to stream once I get done with Breath of the Wild is Borderlands. Okay, nice. And uh, I know the first one doesn't have multiplayer, but if you have the second one, we can play it together too. I do not, but I can look into it. I, was about to say, I have some play money. I was about to say, because the, sec the, the Borderlands games themselves are fucking amazing, and the second one's be uh, even better than the first. I have never played nor watched either one. Uh, you should look up um, Handsome Jack... Uh, funny compilations there are people out there who literally made nothing but videos of the handsome jack dialogue from the storyline nah that's oh awesome oh my god the dude is such a sarcastic prick it, it's it's one of those things where he became a villain nobody wanted to hate <laughs> awesome well and what's even worse is is he has he's one of those villains that has somewhat of a, a sad backstory so he, he's more so a villain of circumstance than anything. Bitch, don't shoot at my cousin. Yeah, <laughs> you son of a bitch. But yeah, no, you, you should definitely look up, you know, any one of the Handsome Jack, you know, compilations. Sure. Because, oh dear God, they're so hilarious. He's such a, he fucking, he basically teases you all throughout the game. Yeah. Nah. Because awesome. he, he has essentially constant radio contact with you at all times. So you'll you'll run into a pretty sticky situation and he'll chime in and, te and just fuck, fuck with you the whole time. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, no, you need to check it out. If you can get your hands on the second game and we can play it together, it'll be fucking amazing. That would be lit. Not only that, but if you can get your hands on the, uh, the upgraded version, the uh, remastered version, I mean... Um, sure. They fixed the uh, looting system, so everybody gets, um, everybody gets the loot that's laying on the floor, not just the person who picks it up. Okay. Because the original Borderlands two and three, they, uh, well, excuse me, the original Borderlands two used to sure. have it set up where whatever ground loot w was laying on the ground would have to be uh, <clears throat> you you basically had to fight with your friends over who got what gun 
because sure. you, you only got what was laying there. But yeah, no, the the remastered version you that's what we were looking for. They fixed LGT it to where over. everybody got what was laying on the ground because that was like the only major complaint about that game is the fact that it essentially ruined uh, friendships because people couldn't agree on who got what gun. Yeah. Here's the next one. Cilantro YouTube. Cilantro YouTube! <sighs> Finally, they delivered it to my location. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Even though that didn't hurt you, hurt me. Fuck you, man. It hurt me more than it hurt you. <laughs> it hurt me more than you'll ever know. <laughs> more than you'll ever know. All right. Next. Here I come. Because that pretty much filled up my business. Uh, so I suppose we should get some uh, to some dirty jokes for, you know, dirty jokes and jobs here, huh? Indeed. Cause hey, uh, let's see. Uh, you got a mic over there? You drinking with me? I, I, I do have a mic right here. At a Ah, tasty. <laughs> Welcome to Drunken Dirty Jokes and Jobs, you two. <laughs> a brand new new series that we just created. I tell dirty jokes, but, well, I'm completely wasted. And I'm ripped. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, could, I could get the four shots that we got at the liquor store and have my wife read them. Oh, there you go. Oh. All right. A pair of cows were talking in the field. One says, have you heard about the mad cow disease that's going around? Yeah, the other cow says, makes me glad I'm a penguin. Ah, uh, yes. Holy shit! You got a lot of uh, a lot of shit to sell. Sweet Mama June, I was just looking. <laughs> some people we are get making off, a sale. Some people get off their high horse by not acting like they're better than others. Other people get off their high horse because it's so high on drugs it falls over. Hiyo! I thought somebody commented. I don't think this is a joke. It's more like a nothing. <laughs> 